Hello folks and welcome to another episode of College Copters. Today uh, it was a bit busy at home so I thought I'd just do a video out here instead while I get the chance. I got this new car here. It's not a brand new car obviously. It's 17 years old. This is a Peugeot uh, 206 SW so it stands for like a state version basically. And look at it. It's not that bad a condition. I've paid only £700 for this car just to tie me over. Now the, the only thing I don't like about it, right, to be honest, is the wheels are a bit small so you feel a, a bit bit more of a, a bit more of the road as it were and uh, I could do with refurbishing the wheels which I'll probably do at some point but it's all there MOT ready to rock and roll and all that sort of stuff and let's have a look at it we'll have a walk round check first a walk round uh, of, of, of the car and it's so sunny today but look at that for a 17 year old car you can't really go wrong at that can you do you know what I mean it's got everything there Nice, big and spacious, and seats five people and all that sort of stuff. It's the Peugeot 206 SW. It's got roof racks as standard they are. Nice metallic paint. I got it cheap because we're the person who got it. They looked after it. A couple of other people looked after it. And I think it's been garaged. Well, I know it has been garaged, but they got another car and then someone tried to break into it and that little dint on the top of the, the top of the door there. So that's why they thought, well, you know what, we'll get rid of it now. We'll move it on, as it were. But it looks all right. It's a 1.4 version as well, petrol. It's really, really cheap, and look at it, it's so clean and tidy. And there you go, look. Look at that for clean and tidiness. You can't really beat that. Everything works on it, everything, literally everything works. It's got um, electric windows and all that sort of stuff, but, but the, the rear don't. Look at, look, look, look at the handle there, look at where the handle is there at the back. Look at that, you open it like that. Look how uh, tidy it is. Tidy inside, like I say, everything works. It's all tidy, clean, and what they have here. It's only got about 92,000 miles on the clock. There's nothing. And then, uh, like, oh, oh, there's the pen. I forgot my pen. Uh, anyway, 92,000 miles is on the clock. And the seats fold down there, so that's oh, there's a, a split seat that goes down on its own, sort of thing. You can do it. Let's see if we can do it. And here, the other one does. There's no armrest here. You've only got to keep. It's hard to do with one hand. Oh look, there's my shopping hat. <laughs> but like I say, it all folds down flat. And if you put... Hold on folks. Oh, that's it. It's hard with one hand. That lifts up forward, that seat there. And you can make it flat like a little van. And what have you. But it is tidy. <laughs> Keep fit windows at the back. Which I don't really mind to be honest. Oh, I hate that when people don't put the mats back proper. Uh, nice. And do you know what I like about this feature? Look, this feature here. One side here. Press that. Just look at that. A split, a split rear tailgate. You don't see that often in cars. Do you know what? There's only less than 600 of these cars left. I think it's 500 and something. I'll check it out and I'll put it, put it on. What, what there is. There's not hardly any left in the in the UK at all. Uh, and what have you? You got I'll push this back a little bit. You've got a charging point down there, look. Lights on it and everything else. Like I said, it's all clean and tidy, all works. The only thing I don't like is this this is a bit saggy, but I mean I'm 17 years old, what do you expect it says? And anyway you do that, and then you press the button on this side. Look at that. It's up really big. And you've got loads of room in here for your shopping. There's a little basket thing there, I need to sort that out, a little net. So you can go fishing with, I suppose. You got one on the other side, and what have you. And there's all your gear in the back. Nice. Rear window wiper. And all that jazz. Like I said, it all works really well. You open the door here. Three tracks. Look nice and tidy, clean in there. Stereo as well. Comes with it. Comes with it. I'll show you what it comes with. Look how clean and tidy this car is, though. You're not going to believe it, eh? And the stereo is good because. When you have the ignition on, it comes up there as well, stereo and what have you, and that little display and it tells you left, right, or front, or whichever doors are open. A little display, a little reminder. The stereo is basic, but it's all right, quite crystal, uh, crystal clear. There's no, the only downside is no alt. You get a charging point there as well, and that. Look how clean it is, the roof. You can eat your dinner off that, I tell you. It's not too shabby at all. It'll do as a good station wagon, this thing, just to get you around and what have you. Let's go and have a look at the other side. Look at 
right so i've decided to come inside the car now instead and you've got ac as well look at that air conditioning there five speed box there you've got a reverse gear obviously the only thing i don't like is handbrake your window your electric window buttons are down here you've got a little secret stash there some coins point, in there and what have you four speed fan you can't really beat that don't forget there's not many of these left now at all that's the thing i've, uh, I've put a bluetooth speaker in it because it's pre pre bluetooth oh, that pen there it's annoying me pre bluetooth days it is and like i said 1.4 it literally runs on nothing you know what i mean absolutely not a bad car at all uh it's got uh what else has it got it's got fog lights uh and what have you they're all on the on the stick here and what have you the speakers are quite cool they're there and the armrests sort of stick out a little bit like that drives really nice though as well i don't mind the drive of it as well to be fair uh you can't really can't really come all right then so i'm going to start it up Turn it up wait better lower that i need some fuel as well to be honest and then the seat belt uh things telling me get your seat belt on stop messing about always safety first before you even set off on your vehicle so what's the drive like i'll just do a little quick drive nothing fantastic and it's not bad i like it check your mirrors and off we go see pulls away really really nicely and go in second gear no clunky clunky and all that there we are see you can't beat that so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe check out all any other stuff i've got and what have you and uh, thanks very much folks for watching i'm going home now i want me uh i want me dinner <laughs> so a cup of tea so uh yeah thanks again for watching and don't forget not many of these left now future classic perhaps in the making i'm just gonna get around this roundabout and then we'll end the video there you know what i mean you gotta be safe guys it's a really nice drive this i've i've, I've had it now for just over nearly two weeks and uh I've been to liverpool about four times five times in it already Pulls like a train got some get up and go there Give it some beans a little bit. You'll see what I mean? Pulls like a train. Brakes are decent. It's got disc brakes at the front, uh, drums at the back, and I thought to myself, drums at the back, but they're alright, they seem to be doing alright. Nothing needs replacing as yet. So that's always a good do. Like I said, everything works as it should. I was, I was skeptical at first, I was after like a Mondeo or something, but I looked at it and it was, it was awful. I thought, you know what, I'll have this. Especially for the boot space, it's that ideal. There we go. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. Hope it helps you out in uh, any way or whatever. I mean, there's not many of these knocking about, to be honest. So if you want one, and you want, just back, get one. Uh, they're really cheap, cheap to insure, cheap to tax. Like I say, it's only 1.4. It's not too shabby. Anyway, I quite like it to be honest. I move mean, it being metallic, a bit different shape as well. And with a weight, like I say, 1.4 is easy on the fuel as well. It's not like that. Anyway, tea time. So, thanks very much, folks. I'll see you in another video.